beardhead.com has got you set up. And the beauty of it is, at the end of the day, when you're done, whew, boy, you can actually feel those bad boys working with the heat coming off the face. So whether you have a hankering for it, Shoveling snow in a solid city whiteout, which I could certainly attest to, or you spend a day shredding them half pipes freestyle and you're ready for a night on the town, fashionably speaking, or you just want to give those darn paparazzi the ultimate ditch. There's even some styles there for the little ones and the ladies. And all you dudes out there, when time comes, you want to go as your favorite ZZ Top guitars from Back to the Future 3, but you couldn't find the right prop? There's no competition. Beardhead.com. Wait for the promo code. Cats, Miles, Simon, College Basketball Live. Let's get right to it because we had a busy day on Saturday. Duke and Coach K traveling to Maryland, perhaps the last time as a member of the ACC, under six minutes left. Dez Wells picks off the pass, big dunk for Maryland, up seven. Coach Mark Turgeon is pumped, under two minutes left. Seth Curry knocks down the three shot here. Duke down five, and then one minute left. Curry again, Miles, they had to go to the outside. Well, Curry was the guy that really held them in this game. Hit 11 for 17 from the field, 25 points, because Jason Plumley really struggled. He struggled offensively here, though, drawing the charge late in the going. Kind of a controversial call, Miles. What do you think about this? I think that's a good call. He's in legal guarding position. Your feet can still be moving by rule. It's hard when there are three of them like that. So <laughs> down three. <laughs> yeah, that's what Pumley needed on this day. Three of himself. Down three, though, you had Rashid Suleiman, who was fouled, made all three of his free throws. And then on the other end, Seth Allen gets fouled driving. He makes two of his free throws. So we are now with... Maryland a two-point lead. Andy, good call. Very close. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, he created the contact. He tried to make something happen. 2.8 seconds left. Quick cook. One final shot for Duke. Can't get it to go. Maryland wins 83-81. The fans, of course, storm the court. Number two Duke goes down. Afterward, Jeanine Edwards caught up with Coach Turgeon. Coach, what a night, but first, what a week, a hard week of work for you and your players. They told me the practices were intense. You told us one day, three hours on the floor, and you said they were tougher today than they were last week. In what ways did they show up on the floor? Well, we, we never quit. We just kept playing. We got up 10 and Duke Stoop. They made tough shots, made big plays, and we had a lot of guys just step up. I thought Alex was tremendous. Seth Allen was great. You know, some of you may be going, who? The younger generation. He was at Texas A&M a while back. All right, well, and, uh, of College Basketball Live. Had, you know, quite a few good few years. And, uh, you have uh, Miles Simon as well. Miles, I could see why. Uh, a couple players went to the NBA. I'm trying to think of their names, but it's not coming It's like five, six years ago. But that's why Texas A&M has Finals. been kind of sucking since he left. Coming in, but Alex Lent really With all due respect to him, whomever's there now. Game. From buzzer to buzzer, he was the best post player on the floor. Mason Plumley is in a three-horse race for National Player of the Year. But Alex Lent, 19 points, nine rebounds today. Got Plumley in foul trouble. Was more physical than Mason Plumley all game long. Got the ball inside and was really effective and, and just controlled the paint for the Terrapins. Held Mason Plumley to a season low, four points and three rebounds. And I also think there's a bigger picture here for Maryland. I mean, this victory for Mark Turgeon, I think, is huge for the. Not that he needed more credibility within the Maryland fan base, but you can knock off Duke at home. It's obviously going to help, especially when you're leaving for the Big Ten in the fall of 2014. It helps perception, credibility, and reality is for this season, they needed a quality win like this. Yes, they had NC State, but NC State's been struggling. I mean, that's obviously a good one, but now you've got two wins that you can book in, book in that you can prove to the selection committee. More on that later coming up in the show. Well, you've got a 30 like second clip either, or a buck 14, or even a buck 59. You know, the beauty of doing a show is you end up with a significantly, still slight and brief, longer highlight reel than all those other ones that I just mentioned that are all over YouTube. That's not the goal of this show here. Now, how is that possible? It's a little thing called the DCMA, which we adhere to strictly around here, the Digital Copyright Millennium Act. As the key tenets were hashed out as it pertains to YouTube more than ever, really came about because of the Napsters of the world through WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. And these are the fair use standard, derivatives, minimal use, no money exchanging hands, because the OMSR is a 
Pro Bono Production. So I understand if a show's not your cup of tea. You can always fast forward on average eight minutes, you know, thereabouts. We try to do at least six minutes where the highlights. There. So you can go, Bleep. do I have anybody's attention at this point? A minute 43. Plus the intro, so that's my two minutes. I guess I'm up. I, I may not be talking to anybody. I'm not sure. I'm not dissing you guys watching now. I'm talking about how it was in the past. All right, so you heard from uh, Motley Crue. It's going to be our lead into for a while. And are introduced by our Pi Kappa Alpha, House Sweethearts, U of U Chapter, Alpha Tau. Giving you props. So, uh, yeah, all of these things being said, one more very important thing. This show is copyrighted to the OMSR with brief video highlights courtesy to CBS, NBC, ABC, ESPN, Pac-12 Networks, and or any of their affiliates. The OMSR does not own these video highlights, but does own all the other original content and the overall concept herein, thereof, therefore, most rights reserved. Now, one more note. Let me change it up a little bit. All images not of OMSR Providence were obtained through the public domain.